We're live from High Tech in Dallas on Thursday. Uh, wanted to welcome a good friend, good partner of ours, Mike Blake, to our booth. Uh, always a pleasure to get a chance to catch up. We are a longtime member of AHLA, a big supporter of what you guys do, and uh, specifically HDNG. So thanks for coming by, Mike. Well, it's great to be here, Don. Thank you very much because you are certainly a, a longtime supporter of HDNG, and now that we've merged with AHLA. You're a supporter of AHLA too, so and we certainly do appreciate it. So, so what does that mean, really? What does it mean now that you're part of AHLA? Right. How does that change HDNG? Sure. Is HDNG going away? Well, some of the good things are still going to be good things, even great things, right? So the work groups we're still doing, mm -hmm. um, and you guys have participated in the work groups, and we Absolutely. appreciate it. Yep. The more, the merrier in the work groups. <laughs> and we also are still global so we're not going to just because hla has american in that a it doesn't yeah. mean that that's our only focus we're still going to be advocacy at that level but as far as our it mission as chip rogers our ceo says the it issues don't have borders yeah. so we are going to still be global and what what's happening which i think is fascinating and exactly one of the reasons why we did this is it's a much bigger table of technology these days and i think the technology decision more and more people are participating in it and some of the senior leaders uh, absolutely are very much involved with AHLA and now we're invited to that conversation and we can help inform some of these decisions so when you see owners and asset managers and CEOs of the brands asking about technology and asking about solutions we can help inform that and that's what I think is gonna gonna be absolutely fantastic in the future. Well in my experience is AHLA is much more of well, it has a more outward-facing face than HDNG did. So right. HDNG was about hotels talking to vendors and vendors sure. talking to each other. Um, HLA actually has a lot of advocacy, gets involved in regulatory issues. So I would think that that's a good thing as well. for. The I, I think that's a great thing because it gives technology a voice, yeah. right? And it gives all of our members, even you know the vendors the hotel side all of us a much larger voice to project and yeah. gotta tell you you know that's communications is one of the great things that they do and as a technologist at heart not that good at it so I get it you got to get the you know people who are good well, at those you things don't have great social skills you're awesome man. <laughs> kind of resemble that remark I know so what does that mean for Tech Ovation? Uh, obviously, as a winner of last sure. year, it's something we're really proud of, and we kind of talk about that quite a bit. What does that mean? For, is that award still going to continue? Sure. Tech Ovation, for those who may be hearing it for the first time, is actually our award to, to recognize great technology that's being introduced. And every year, we try to recognize folks in that vein. And last year, little funky year, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. the process was not, you know, there. where it was or where we want it to be, but you still had a lot of interactions. You got a lot of votes. And that's one of the things that I think with Tech Ovation, which is gonna continue. Okay. Um, one of the best parts about Tech Ovation is really the people who judge it. Yeah. And the people who judge it, we have multiple tiers. One is we open it to the public and everybody has the opportunity to weigh in and say like or dislike, right? So everyone's usually used to swipe left or swipe right, whatever right, that right. is, right? <laughs> so we got that so part of the process. Be on Tinder next <laughs> there you go. Hey, but, but you know, as so as we start looking at tech ovation, you know, the judges are actually members of our uh, ELG, which is the executive leadership group, and now those folks will actually view and judge and get exposure to a product that they might not otherwise see. So you see very large brands, you know, seeing things that, you know, a lot of the, whether it's a startup or whether it's a new product, at least you get that in level of introduction. So that still is going to happen. And we are really looking forward to this year's because I think, you know, a lot of companies did not suffer they suffered from in you know, our whole industry suffered with the pandemic and it's been horrible but those who do true technology use the time very well to innovate yeah. and i am really excited about some of the entries that we're already beginning to see since the process is beginning so, to kick without off without spoiling anybody's entries or just 
In general, it's obviously like you alluded to. It's been a really interesting year and a half, and technology offers a lot of keys into how to kind of address that situation. What technologies yeah. are you seeing sure. hoteliers are really focused in on right now? I think a lot of them is in response to the pandemic, right? Yeah. So what you're seeing is, um, I think you're going to see a few things come out of this pandemic. First of all, touchless. So you're going to see a lot of contactless, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I see mobile, right? Mobile was interesting. People were working on it. Everyone was mobile first everything, right? right, right. Now I think it's real. Yeah. Now I absolutely, it, and you see this in our everyday life, right? Yeah. You see it when you go to a restaurant, yep. you, you cast to a QR code, you're trying to, you, that mobile device is becoming kind of the center of the universe for you. And I see, you know, better and better tools and technologies that are, taking advantage of that right and having people you know they're used to working that way they want to work that way and then the third thing I see is all around um, kind of once again that being at home experience right remember when everyone was all involved with Tiger King and yeah. <laughs> getting you know everyone has a Netflix Hulu Disney Plus all these streaming things yeah. you know people are expecting that they want they see it at home they want to also use it on the road Absolutely. So, yeah. uh, so call it casting, call it however you want to get that signal, that subscription. Uh, you know, you want to view your own content. Absolutely. So yeah. that is absolutely, you know, as we come out of the pandemic, something that that's going to be front and center for everybody. Excellent. Well, Mike, it's been actually it's been great to connect with you. It's been great to connect with everybody here at the right. show this week. Uh, it's nice to see people live face to face. It's interesting to wear pants for four days in a row, uh, but it's uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank I'll you very much, Tom. Absolutely. Thanks. Take care, everyone.